Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Glindo and welcome to another Autodesk Inventor tutorial. Today we're looking at some F1 in school specific content. Um, this is a kind of further extended feature of our F1 in schools class where we are going to be creating 3D printed front and rear wings. This particular tutorial is on the front wing. So you can see here I've got um, some geometry, uh, these little uh, tip fins, fin tips, that's what I meant. Um, that are, are very hard to manufacture. And so because of this, um, we tend to 3D print them, and that means we need to create them as a separate part. So to do this, we're gonna be using primarily the split tools um, and also a few work planes. So I'm gonna start by creating a new offset from plane, and I'm gonna select our YZ plane, and I'm gonna offset about 150 millimeters, basically behind my wing, but in front of my axle heart. Click OK. And I'm now going to go split. Now the split free try I want is trim solid because I want to trim and keep only one half at this stage. I'm going to go back and switch it so that I've got both parts. So the first part that I would like to um, remove is going to be the front. I'm going to click apply. Now having done this, obviously I need to create a way that my wing will join on that's more robust than simply the front here. And what I'm going to do is create um, a new sketch from the XY plane which continues on uh, from the original uh, size here. So to start this I'm going to go split and I'm going to go to my original extrusion, this one, and I'm going to right click visibility and select project geometry and project the geometry here that you can see. Having done that, I'm going to click OK, go back and turn off visibility. And so this is the outside profile. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset below this slightly, um, enough so that we can fit three millimeter fillets in, and then going to re-extrude this back out so that we have our fixture. Now to do this, all I'm going to do is use the offset tool and select this shape. And I'm going to go down um, by a 3.6 uh, millimeters um, and there's a specific reason it's 3.6 and that's so that when we do the shell to the other side and we cut out a shape and leave a wall thickness here we're going to do 3.5 and that 0.1 of a millimeter just gives us a little bit of play between the plastic part and the wooden part um, and a bit of slack in case our machining is slightly off or the 3d printing so i just need to finish off this shape by selecting the points here where they cross over and just make sure I've got a joining uh, feature there. I'm going to select that, finish it and extrude it. Now that profile obviously needs to be extruded um, so that it is 3.6 in from the edges and the easiest way I find of doing this um, is to use an inspection tool and select the distance between these two edges which is 30. And then when I go to my extrusion, I can extrude this symmetrically. And I'm going to go 30, uh, take, and this is where brackets and mathematical equations in ca uh, computer code works, um, 3.6 times 2, so that I remove 3.6 from both sides. And you can see that works just fine there. Now you can obviously check this again with the inspection tool inspecting between the two and checking you've got your 3.6, which we do. All right, so that is my insert there, which is going to be used to create this. Now, this is going to be made out of balsa, and we know that our concave features here uh, all need that machining fillet. So I'm going to go to the fillet tool, and I'm just going to select these top edges around our insert. And I'm going to change these to 3.1. And that just means that um, that will be as it is coming out of the machine from manufacture, which is perfect. OK, I'm going to save this as my you know, main file now. Now, I would probably save this as the manufacturing car. And we'd move on from this and create, say, the extruded section for it. I'm going to leave it for now. And I'm going to actually delete all of the work I've done um, so you would save this, I'm not going to, and then go back to the split and switch this 
so that it removes the other side. So I'm left now with the front wing, and you can see how I've gone from the two options. This is the point where I would save straight away to make sure you get it right, and save this as the front wing. Now, we're going to export this as an STL later, so you could just do that, but by having the two parts, if you modify something, it just makes it a bit easier if it's saved. Now, we want to use the shell feature here of the modification tool panel, and literally just shell this material. And the surface you select basically always keeps as the open surface. Everything else, you basically create it smaller at a certain size. Now, it's quite complex geometry on the wings here. And realistically, I'm not that worried about them being shelled there. I'm really worried about them being shelled on this main section where it's going to be inserted. So what I'm going to do is a little bit complex, but basically it's going to remove these as features from this whole body. So to do this, what we need to do is create an offset from plane. And we're going to select this surface here. And we're not going to offset, we're going to leave it. And repeat the exact same thing. And select the other one, no offset again. I'm then going to go split. And rather than doing a trim solid, all I'm going to do is split solid. So I'm going to split from this work plane and apply. I'm going to do the same thing again, split tool, should stop clicking it, <laughs> that work plane, and the solid I'm going to split is obviously the one it intersects, I'm not going to split this solid. You can see now I've got two, oh, sorry, three solids, or three bodies, I've got a main body and the two other ones, and they're split exactly where they join, which means that now when I go to the shell tool and I select this surface here, it very easily shells out only this body, which is quite critical. Now, I'm going to make sure that this shell has a thickness of 3.5, which gives us that 0.1 millimeter gap between the two. And clicking OK, I've now shelled that out. And you can see that if we printed this part, it would have that fixture that we could instantly insert that onto our own uh, machined car. The only thing I'm going to make sure that I do on this one is those 3 millimeter, 3.1 millimeter, sorry, fillets that will be on the inside surface so that it will exactly match. So I'm just going to go and put those 3.1 fillets. Don't need to make any more, so I'm just going to apply them straight away. Now the final thing I would do with this sort of system is I'd actually combine all those solids back together. So I'm going to hold shift on them and I'm going to go back to combine and I'm going to select the base object and the two bits to join back in. Click OK. I now have a single body again. So all kind of, it's all back together. It's not going to be in the way. And you can see now how I've created two components. A great example of this is my final assembly, where I have got a front wing and a rear wing, both as separate components. And you can see that um, here, if I um, make that invisible, you can see that component, how it is inserted. And if I switch that around, you can see how we have got a front wing, which has the exact same components minus the fillet, which I obviously managed to forget there. So that is how you would create the front wing to be assembled on. Thank you for watching.